Masonry walls. Preparing the masonry units. In the confined masonry system, the walls are the most important structural element because they carry the vertical and horizontal loads in the construction. Therefore, in the event of an earthquake, the walls play the main role in preventing that the construction collapses. 30 minutes before starting the masonry work, the bricks must be drenched so that they won't suck the water out of the mortar. There are various ways to do so. Dunk the bricks in a bucket of water. Apply water with a big brush or spray generously water over them. Never use seawater to drench the bricks. Construction of the wall. The following steps describe the correct construction of a masonry wall. One, drench the plinth beam with water. Two, tie vertical timber boards to the column ties, which will serve as guides for the masonry work. Three, place a level string between the boards. Four, stack the bricks one course at a time. Five, check that the mortar joints are 10 to 15 millimeters thick. This can be controlled easily by comparing them with the thickness of the pinky finger. Six, check that the vertical joints are filled with mortar too. In a good masonry wall, the bricks must be staggered from one course to the other. This means that the vertical joints must not be aligned vertically. Each brick should overlap by a third to a half of the length of the one below. The masonry walls should never be built higher than a meter 20. For walls higher than a meter 20, it is essential to build a seismic band. Toothing. The minimum distance between the masonry of the wall and the tie reinforcements must be three centimeters. This distance can be checked with the last bit of the thumb. The size of the toothing must be maximum five centimeters. Curing the mortar. To allow the masonry walls to reach their optimal resistance, the mortar must also be cured. The mortar joints must be kept humid by drenching the walls regularly during one week. The walls should therefore never be left to dry in the sun, but should be covered with a plastic sheet.